Today's Pet Check focuses on a condition affecting felines called yellow cat. And here to tell us more about it is Dr. Adam Rudinsky, board certified specialist in internal medicine at the Ohio State University Veterinary Medical Center. Thank you for joining us. And uh, tell us about this little guy. Well, I'll introduce you to Honestly, one of my personal favorites uh, out of all these that we've done. Mm -hmm. This is Fez. He's just about a year or two old. Okay. Um, and he's with Colony Cats uh, Rescue here in Columbus. And he's the biggest sweetheart. Very chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For sure. All right. So talk to us a little bit. We'll talk about how to adopt him in just a second. But talk to us about what um, this condition is called and uh, some of the signs to look for. Yeah, so um, cats, you know, they have a wide variety of diseases, but one organ in particular that they frequently get illnesses associated with is the liver. Mm -hmm. And much like people that will get jaundice or yellow tints in their skin and uh, eyes and whatnot, cats will get the exact same thing. Um, and so that's a, a major thing for owners at home to be watching out for if they're seeing any sort of color change to the cat's skin to have them evaluated by their veterinarian. So other than a color change, what, what other symptoms could they see? Yeah, so it, uh, other symptoms include kind of like the normal sick cat signs. So mm -hmm. uh, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, decreased appetite or changes in uh, behavior, um, all would uh, be indicative of uh, a problem that might include uh, these diseases. Yeah, they were just showing some pictures there of the, the mouth that's all yellow, too. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So a lot of times you'll see that on the ear tips, the eyes, and even the, the gums. Depending on the color of your cat, mm -hmm. like Fez here, he's a, an orange guy, so it might be a little harder to tell that yellow tint. Um, but yeah, those pictures are great examples of it. Okay, so is this condition curable, treatable? Yeah, so the big two that we deal with in my specialty are called hepatic lipidosis, which is like a fatty liver disease, mm -hmm. or cholangitis, which is often either an inflammatory or infectious disease of the liver. Both completely treatable and have a good prognosis, especially if we can intervene early. Okay, so talk to us about um, how to get a hold of this guy. He's very chill you want to adopt yes. him. So I can't imagine he will be available for long because yeah. tons of people are going to be jumping for him. But contacting Colony Cats to go ahead and get uh, information, uh, he could be in your house soon. All right. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we'll keep an eye out for that condition, hopefully. I have a cat at home. We'll, yeah. Hopefully yeah, guess... we never have to see yours with that. Yes. All right. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.